What's up guys, Isaac Parks or Isaac Punts here. Today I'm gonna be bringing you three freshman punters you need to be watching in college football at the FBS division. So we're gonna be taking a look at three guys that are just in their freshman or redshirt freshman year. Uh, as another side note, I kind of was trying to avoid uh, our lovely friends from across the pond, not for any negative reasons. Um, but because I want to highlight some younger guys, right? Some guys that are balling out of their mind at the age of 18 or 19. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be bringing you today. Three young freshman guys who have just been having great seasons that I think you should be watching. So let's get into the video. The first guy that we have coming out of VTech is a Mr. Peter Moore balling for the Hokies. Okay, so what I love about Peter is game to game, he just has a very consistent, very, very impressive leg. He gets pretty good hang time on all of his punts. He's not just hitting pissers. Okay, some areas I could always see him improving is just having a little bit better of a directional game. So you can see here in some of the clips, his direction's not bad. I don't want to do to on his direction. His direction is definitely not bad, but it's just an area I could definitely see him improving upon. Getting into his stats, he's had very high consistency from game to game, only having one game with less than a 40-yard average, and that was a 38.5, which is very respectable as a true freshman. He can blow the top off a little bit more, in my opinion, because he hasn't quite broken that 50-yard average in a game yet, and I'm sure he would like to see that himself. But he's had a couple games in the 49s, 49.5, 42s, you know, 44s around that area. So he stays very consistent, not only in the 40s, but actually the upper 40s. On top of that, man, can he pin them deep. Am I right? So standing at just six foot one, 207, Peter Moore has shown that he can really rip it, okay? So that's a freshman I think you need to keep your eyes on. So keep a lookout for VA Tech's very own Peter Moore moving forward in the future because this guy has a lot of years left and I think you're going to see much, much more out of him. And also another big thing, Peter here in this game that I'm showing you, why I highlighted this one, had six punts against no pushover crowd. This was a crunch time important game and Peter came to ball, okay, he forced a lot of fair catches by a very, very stout Notre Dame team, and this is a high stakes game for him, so huge game, congratulations, Peter Moore on having a good season so far. The next punter that we're going to be highlighting, Ryan Hansen out of Arkansas State. So Ryan Hansen, one thing that he has in common to Peter Moore is from game to game, he's very consistent and boy does he have a high volume of punts so it's hard to stay that consistent from game to game when you're kicking so much but that's one of the things that i love that he's doing he's only really had one bad outing and that was against memphis where he had 37 yard average across seven punts forced a lot of fair catches and there was three inside the 20 i can't help but believe that he probably had a lot of really short range pins in there just looking at his level of consistency from game to game now if peter had a lot of room to blow the top off of what his average could be so does ryan i would love to see ryan hansen really start hitting a lot more of those 50 plus yard balls because across 46 attempts he's only had 10 i know he has them in his bag but you can see it's really hit or miss from game to game like at this game against washington he had four 50 plus yard punts compared to zero across the two games before and then zero for two games afterwards so he has them in his back pocket. He just has to really unleash that bag a little bit more and just start corking them, torquing them off, okay? Another thing I liked about this game is that he shows a high level of resilience, okay? He's gonna have some, he has a bad punt in here, okay? It ends up going pretty short. He doesn't let that take him out of the game. He doesn't let it ruin his mental. He just gets back on there and keeps going. The same thing for when he gets one blocked, right? So they're back to back. At first he has kind of like this inside miss hit that fades out of bounds a lot shorter than you know he was trying to do. And then he has one just 
shoved right back onto his foot, which never feels good as a punter. But guess what? He keeps punting and he's able to put up a pretty impressive game because across these nine punts, he averages 45.33 yards. Another thing you can see here for Ryan is that a lot of his better higher end punts come with a little bit of a roll. So they might have that asterisk next to him. So he could just clean up his form on a more consistent basis and hit more of those turnovers more consistently. His top end is really high. And I think as you see him really settle in as a punter across these next couple years, you're gonna be looking at a power house of punters, okay? So this guy is definitely one that you need to watch. The next punter we're gonna be talking about is out of Arizona State, Eddie Shosblitzki, okay? So one thing I loved about Eddie, A, first of all, he's from my hometown, Charlotte, North Carolina, so I gotta show him some love. Two, this dude came out of the gate balling. Okay, let me just read off his stat line from the first game. It was two punts, 92 yards, 46 yard average. Two of them were inside the 20, 150 plus, and I know the first one was down on the one yard line, and this guy is a hound for downing punts inside the five. I can watch him kick all day. It's a shame that this next one rolls in. This was just a blown opportunity by his unit to really make an impressive play here. As you see, the ball is gonna take a bounce and the guy's just not gonna be disciplined and it's gonna cross the plane. But Eddie really has a good job of doing that. Something that he could clean up easily for himself as he has all the top end in the world. For him, he's gotta find ways to not shoot himself in the foot on some of these games because you can see here against UCLA he has three punts for 95 yards at the 31 yard average none of them are inside the 20 so his top end is super high like at BYU where he has four punts for almost a 50 yard average but right now if he can bring up his floor to a little bit closer to his ceiling his ceiling is as high as it could possibly go and I think as he starts to settle in from game to game and get used to the different game environments that he's gonna be able to really ball out and just show himself as one of the prominent punters in his class. So those are the guys that I think are the best punters as freshmen that you should be watching. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Who else should you be keeping an eye on? If you enjoy this type of content, please like, subscribe, all those things so I can keep pumping out more content like this for you guys. But as always, I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.